Hi, and can you believe it's the seventh Sunday of the Easter of Easter time, and so we have so much to be thankful for, and that's what really Jesus starts out in this gospel today. He's praying this beautiful prayer in front of his disciples, and he's thanking his Father for all that they have given him, and how much he loves them, and how much he's going to miss them, and that he will be with them always, guiding them and part of their lives. But they have to trust that, and they have to be able to access that. They don't fully understand that yet, but when we listen to what Jesus is talking about, he's talking about discipleship and what that means. And when we call ourselves disciples, followers of Jesus, there's an urgency there. That means that we have to get up and go and do something now. You know, these last couple of weeks, the they call them the Disciple Sundays because <clears throat> they challenge us and they tell us how much God loves us, but that we have to be almost grafted onto Christ, that we have to realize that our friendship with Christ is important, our friendship with one another is important, and the fact that God's Spirit is going to be inside of each one of us. My friends, just as those disciples didn't know what they were in for back then, we too, as we journey through life, don't realize what God has in store for us, but God promised us that we would never be alone and that God will give us all that we need to go out and proclaim His good news. And each one of us has something to give. Each one of us has, in our own little way, a responsibility to bring the Word of God to others. And so that's what we have to do as a Christian family, as a family of faith, as a family of believers. My friends, here at the Church in the Nativity, which is a stewardship parish in Midland Park, New Jersey, we have so much to be thankful for. And we have to continue to call out for all of us that urgency to be disciples in the world. That we can't say to ourselves, oh, you know, when I retire, I'll be able to do more things. Or, you know, when I get past this busy point, you know, maybe in the summer I'll have a time to catch my breath and I can do something then. No, what Jesus is saying is we should not miss any day in our lives to bring his message to someone. And it might be in a very simple, ordinary way. It's just all of us being mindful of what our role is. And that's by virtue of our baptism. We are called forth to be disciples in this world. And we're going to realize that by being disciples in this world, there's always going to be a challenge. There's going to be a spiritual tension inside of us because the world doesn't accept what, they, what we want to say, tell them. The world rejects who Christ is. The world wants what the world wants for itself. And it puts us first instead of others. We have to try to change that and say it's others first before ourselves. And that is so hard as human beings to do. And so that tension is something that keeps us on our toes. It keeps us looking around and saying, where is my opportunity that I can bring the love of God to someone that might be sitting right next to me? or living across the street from me, or someone that I'm going to bump into at the grocery store. That's what our challenge is all about. And that is the tension that we hear in the gospel and the urgency that we need to live our lives as Christians. So come and be with us here in Church of the Nativity because we need your prayers and we need your urgency and your discipleship to affect all of ours. Next weekend, we are going to be celebrating a very wonderful event, something that I am so excited about. We have two young men that are going to be ordained to the priesthood of Jesus Christ. Deacon Alex, who has been in this parish and has sort of had this as his home parish for the last three and a half years since he's come from Columbia. And he will be celebrating his first Mass of Thanksgiving here at the parish the following day on May 27th at 2 in the afternoon. So we invite you to come and be part of that. And then Deacon Carlos Bresenio, who was our deacon this year on the weekends, is going to be doing a Mass of Thanksgiving the following week 
on June 3rd at 12 noon. I have to tell you, both of these men have been just tremendous sources of blessing and gratitude in my life that I have been allowed to be on this journey with them at this wonderful moment. They have given so much to me as a person, as a priest, as a pastor, um, just by watching their witness and how they want to serve the Lord. Coming from countries and didn't knowing the lang not knowing the language and saying, yes, I want to serve God wherever I can. I invite you to look on our website because each one of them has a special video that they've put up this week talking about what their experience has been. And so um, it's a good reflection, it's a good meditation for all of us. I ask you to please pray for them, pray for our parish here, and if you haven't been here to church, please come and join us. God bless you.